The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are said to be actively planning to relocate to Windsor, and the move could be announced imminently. Royal expert Angela Levin hinted the Cambridges will announce their move either next week or around Christmas time. The Queen will use Windsor Castle as a more permanent base upon her return from Balmoral, as she feels more at home in the historic retreat. The Duchess family also live nearby in Berkshire, so it would be a move that makes sense for the family. The monarchy is in a moment of transition, according to royal historian Dr. Ed Owens. He is a former university lecturer and author of The Family Firm. He told Express. Co.uk. Since the Mexit moment of almost 18 months ago, the Cambridges have been trying to redefine themselves and elevate their public images. The problem with being at Anmer Hall was that they were pretty out of the public eye. Obviously they've always had their apartments at Kensington Palace, that's been their London base, but moving to the southeast and the Windsor area represents an opportunity to elevate their public image, to make themselves more visible. William and Kate are known to enjoy the lifestyle that comes with living in the countryside and the privacy that it brings. William especially has always been particularly protective of his privacy. Dr. Owens notes this is one of the reasons behind him choosing St. Andrews University for his studies, to escape the constant pursuit by tabloid journalists and paparazzi. Their current base at Anmer Hall, on the Sandringham estate, is a long way out of London and very much away from the public eye. Windsor, meanwhile, would allow the Cambridges and their children to embrace the countryside and country life, while also being around an hour outside of the capital. A royal source told Vanity Fair, there are options at Windsor Castle, which is vast, and being close to the Queen, who is 95, makes sense to the family. They are, seriously considering, the move after, discussions with the Queen, to move into an apartment inside the 1,000-room castle. Dr. Owens describes the move as a, very deliberate, symbolic act. He said, they're clearly trying to associate themselves with the Queen present themselves as supportive individuals and also associate themselves with this very historic site that's been important for the monarchy for a long time. Ms. Levin told GB News that, while the move will bring many benefits to the Cambridges, it will have likely been motivated by the fact they care very much about their family. Lady Louise Windsor praised for deft response to wedding moment. Insight. Dr. Shola furious at Piers for using Queen to stoke animosity. Quotes. Duchess must be livid after Piers Morgan Ofcom win, expert claims, expert. She said the Queen will benefit from having her family around. Even though the Queen looks absolutely stoic and heroic when we see her out and about in bright colors, seeming very positive, there must be very deep and dark patches when she is alone without her late husband. After 70 years together it must be extraordinarily difficult. She stressed the Cambridges are, happy to move near her. Ms. Levin added. I mean children are wonderful, small children are wonderful to take people's minds off dark things. I think it would be, it is a very, very positive move. I also think it is a practical one. William and Kate's redefining of their role, according to Dr. Owens, goes back to a wider public relations strategy within the firm. He said, this is something that goes back to Prince Charles's desire to shed more light on the key group of royals that are in the line of succession. 
and those more marginal royals, like Charles's brothers and sister and their own children, he wants to keep them at the fringes. He doesn't want them to hog too much attention because often they're liabilities. This is very much part of a bigger public relations strategy with a greater emphasis on the line of succession. After a long summer holiday, including spending last weekend at Balmoral with Her Majesty, Prince George and Princess Charlotte will return to school next week at Thomas's Battersea. While their current school caters for children up to the age of 13, it has been suggested that George and Prince Louis will follow in their father and uncle's footsteps and head off to Eton. A move to Windsor would therefore mean their school is little more than a mile away. Related articles Kate Middleton's horror at seeing, dead body. Oh my goodness Queen snub. Charles' decision to move to Windsor would be, bizarre. Prince Charles had tension with newlyweds Prince William and Kate. 